A putt for Jack Wagner. Got the rally cap on again. Last time we saw it, the putt went in. This would be a tasty up and in. Yeah. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Jack Wagner to two under. So we now have a tie atop the lead. Trent Dilfer and Jack Wagner, both two under par in the first round of the American Century Celebrity Golf Championship. We'll return to the lovely shores of Lake Tahoe. And there's Jack walking down the fairway earlier with his son. Playing a little catch. Golf clubs make a lot. Well, the man that has played in every single Celebrity Golf Championship along the shores of Lake Tahoe has joined us now, Jack Wagner. Uh, congratulations on a round of 69. There's been a lot you. of rounds played here. This is the best you've ever uh, this scored. This is the first time I've broken 70 on the golf course, so I'm... I'm just butter right now. <laughs> <laughs> and that's after your run in uh, New York on Broadway with Jacqueline Hyde. And yeah. You said, oh, you, said you didn't play for a long time. Do you think it helped? We talked about I that a little bit earlier. I absolutely think it helped. I, I, didn't, I shut it down from October probably. Uh, last time I played was a golf trip with about three or four of the guys in the tour here, and we went down to South Carolina down there. And uh, I haven't touched the club a couple of weeks ago. I started hitting balls. So, you know, I think sometimes it might help to clear your head from all the, the golf ugly cobbles, thoughts. Yeah. yeah. It's difficult to put three good rounds together. That's what it takes. You've had eight top tens in this championship. Uh, really? What's going to be the key to the weekend? Oh, it's all nerves. I mean, it's all the putter, short putts, things like that. Because you can, you can miss some shots on this golf course. It's not extremely long. You know, they don't play it too tough for us. So, you know, if, if you can keep, make your short putts and not let the nerves get to you too bad, you know, you can, you can get close to the top, I think. Well, there's a lot of serious golf out there, but uh, you're one of these guys that brings your family here every year. And earlier we had a chance to watch you uh, out on the fairway playing catch with uh, one of your two sons, what? Harrison. Don't drop it. Oh. <laughs> Get it. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Get it. Oh. <laughs> My kid's dropping the ball. <laughs> you need it. Oh, yeah, there's a little George Brett. I want him to see that then. It gets, that must take the yeah, pressure yeah, off yeah, a little bit. Make, that one. <laughs> make you forget about the game of golf a little Absolutely. bit. Absolutely. Huh? Yeah, no question. Well, Jack, congratulations. Round Great. 69. Thanks and, for having uh, me up. Best of luck on the weekend. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, guys. Play well. Jack right. Wagner, 69, alone at the top of the leaderboard after the first round of the American Century Celebrity Golf Championship. There he is, one shot ahead of Trent Dilfer and five-time champion Rick Roden, just two back, the only three players under par. Join us for the weekend on NBC as we have second round coverage. Actor Jack Wagner in need of a birdie here at the 13th. Uphill putt, he can be aggressive with this. And he was. So it's his first birdie since the third hole, but Jack has also recorded a slew of bogeys, six in total. But that gets him back to plus one and just four back. As we go back out to 18, third shot for Jerry. He's got a pitch shot from just behind this 18th green, incredibly, Dan, because his, his tee shot was so far in the right-hand trees, I didn't think he could do anything but chip out. And he just ripped it right through the middle of the trees over the green. Well, we talked about it yesterday, how Jack took off about seven months from his golf game to appear in the Broadway hit Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Did not get a chance to really play any uh, golf, but uh, unfortunately, uh, he's turned into bit of a Dr. Jekyll today and Mr. Hyde yesterday. That's right. That's golf though, right? That is golf. This now slightly downhill, move a little bit to his right. Roger, I thought you made a good point yesterday about how sometimes it's important for players of this caliber to step away from the game a little bit. Obviously, it's tough for the tour professionals. This one's got to slow down. Slow down! down. <laughs> <Stop>! <laughs> So exhausting, though, these, these actors in these uh, Broadway oh. runs. I mean, I guess Jack lost a, lost a lot of weight. And I guess uh, it was a, a show in which he appeared during the uh, show of like 95% of the time. So it wasn't like he had a break as the star of the show. So that was a physically grueling role. And you see the 
previous roles for the popular Jack Wagner, of course, Frisco Jones in the soap opera General Hospital, Dr. Peter Burns, Melrose Place, Tony Award, West Side Story, and title characters, including that Broadway production of Jekyll and Hyde. Now Dilfer for Birdie. Even though he had a bad day today, it would get him within three shots of the lead. Good stroke there. How about this finish by this threesome at 18? Yeah, how about those three fours? Right. Wagner goes birdie, birdie. They birdied, uh, they had six birdies now, in the, the final three had holes. Told me to go for it back there. They get this ball. Now we have to chop this into about 100 pieces. Where's that little guy I saw? Let's see, it was, was it you? Was it, was it you? It was, look at you. You weren't even back there. Go ahead, that's for you. So Wagner and Rick Roden and Trent Dilfer finally clear the stage at 18. Over to the ninth. And Sacramento Kings all-star Chris Weber and